For some people, the worst part of a day is waiting for that red traffic light to switch over to green. Well, according to a new MIT study, red lights may also be harmful to the environment. 22 News reporter Tamara Sakarzik explains how a new smart traffic system could cut the wait time in half and help the environment. If it's less time we're spending at stoplights, it's faster we can get somewhere. Hitting red light after red light isn't just irritating. It might also be harmful to the environment. That's according to a new MIT study that suggests every time you're stuck behind a red light, harmful carbon emissions are traveling from your car into the air, which is why a group of researchers went in search of a solution. MIT scientists say the new smart traffic light system would send less carbon emissions into the air, which would be better for the environment, and they also say it would reduce the amount of time that you spend waiting for the light to turn green. The study says the cities could look at the amount of cars in an area and then compare it to that area's traffic patterns. That data could then be used to time out traffic lights more efficiently, which means red lights would change color quicker. I think it will help with the environment. I mean, there's a lot of emissions being distributed by cars and causing all this pollution, and I think it's a good idea. And it's also welcome news to many commuters here in western Massachusetts who say they spend way too much time sitting behind red lights. On the weekends, it's probably five, ten minutes. We run all weekend. So, yeah, we'd love it. Shorter times. Gotta get to where we gotta go. Authors of the study looked at 12,000 cars at 17 key intersections to find new ways to reduce pollution and help drivers get around more efficiently. It would be a great idea because we're constantly, you know, polluting our atmosphere. This car is full of parking lots and they all came here from God knows where. Um, and, you know, there's lights all over the place. In Holyoke, Tamara Sakarzik, 22 News.